anyway, any who made you guys a believer this year? We'll start with Big Co. Who you got? Uh, I mean, for me, I was I jumped in. You and I both a couple times on our league in our F, uh, FFPC leagues and scooped up Miles um, Gaskin on the cheap, and uh, I, completely not at the level of Calvin Ridley, of course, as far as dynasty value. But for a super cheap guy that wasn't, uh, it was a short bench, you know, FFPC short bench on the yeah, waivers. Is that 20, 20 players? Yeah. On so, FFPC? yeah. So, like, it's with a not, minus indeed. two. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, so it's one of those things where it's not like a true deep dynasty league where you could just scoop him up. But, I mean, he, I, nobody was talking about Miles Gaskin coming into this year at all. And uh, so that was, that's, that was nice to see. Are you oh, so I, I like that pick? Is that are we holding Mike Miles Gaskin leading into next season? Are we gambling? I personally don't see don't why not. Like, you're not going to get enough up. for him to make it worth it. I guess if somebody offered you a second, would you take it for Gaskin? If it was an early second with this class, probably, and because you're basically just going to flip that coin and say, I'm not sure if Miami's going to put enough draft stock into somebody that could come just boot him backwards and it doesn't know. seem like there's that many running backs like there was this year there is like there are it doesn't the talent the talent is top heavy and it's great up at the top but it doesn't i mean very Good early point. into any of that type of analysis yeah but. and i think i mean you think about the different ways that miami was winning miles gaskin was helping out they they weren't doing a whole lot offensively when ryan mm-hmm. fitzpatrick wasn't in there he, whenever you know Tua just dump passes and just don't turn it over, play like a rookie. Yeah. And um, Miles Gaskin really, really played well. So, I mean, yeah. I, I would take an early two for him just because some of these receivers are probably going to be at the top of the second round that were just like this year. Um, really valuable, but it's still a second round rookie pick. I could see that from Gaskin, but other than that, I, I'd hold. Yeah, I mean, it was really impressive what he did as a receiver. I mean, they were lining him up out wide. He was running routes. He was catching a lot of balls, setting him up on screens. And it, it, it seemed to me like almost, you know, maybe he's kind of like a, a James White plus because he's he's pretty good as a runner. I mean, he only averaged, I think, like 4.1 yards per carry. So he's like point one better than Jag. Is that how that works? I'm not exactly <laughs> sure. But point two maybe three point nine Jag. Four point okay, okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um but, but not a crushed. great offensive line there. And I think a guy coming you said James White guy coming in Flores from that Patriots right. tree, maybe they don't want to invest in a running back. So. Right. They could get some cheap guys and, and I'm sure they'll bring in somebody. Somebody's coming into Miami. They're not gonna go into next season with just Ahmad Salvin what's his name? Salman, Ahmed, Salman. Uh, Salman, Salvad. Yeah, I'm but that, mean, that. But <laughs> hats, hats off to those guys though over in Miami. Like you guys brought in Brita, you brought in Howard, Howard. and then by you had Gaskin and Ahmed. Just you know, good job. Hats off to you guys for those were throwaways. By but other teams had opportunities at Gaskin the year before. The Niners had seventh Ahmed round on their pick. roster in the. Uh, in in the off in the early off season, and then they ended up cutting him, bringing Hasty back, and and the Dolphins picked up uh, Ahmed, and he looked good too, man. That 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 was the old uh, Washington Huskies combo platter. So, that's off to them. Absolutely. 